Okay. Right. You can. You uh, mentioned earlier, uh, asked this, uh, asked me to prepare an order. Um, I presume you denying the state's motion to remove Mr. Steele as, as attorney for Mr. Williams. Because there are four individuals who are mentioned in the reason for conflict, and we've addressed one, we're about to address the second one, uh, and the other one will not be addressed until at least the eighth. Um, I would court no, go ahead and do the order for the ones that we have for today. We'll read. We'll, I'll. We'll, I'll enter a supplemental order or, uh, when those two folks are taken up. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, may I say something else? Uh, also, okay. you can. Um, uh, earlier, uh, the court made reference to. Uh, I sort of asked some questions, some clarifying questions in regards to our manner of proceeding. I think. Uh, I, I take some exception to the court's um, belief, assertion at that point that will attempt to dress me down. To I'm not trying to dress you. I'm not. Try, I'm not trying to dress you down. But this is you. You inter okay? Since you brought it up, no, you may not at this point in time because you interrupted me to begin with. Okay. I told. I mean, we're here. I mean, Mr. Mr. Adams. Here's the thing about it. You have to be patient with the court. You have to be patient with the court because I got a lot of freight I'm trying to I'm trying to manage. I'm always going to let you have and consider everything that you tell me and any motions that you file. But what you do is when you jump me, meaning that my procedure or you jump in front of other people, then that kind of it doesn't sit well. So I'm just going to tell you if, it, if I offended you in any way, please take my apologies for it. It wasn't my intent to do so. I consider you to be a very fine attorney, and, uh, and, and I've known you for professionally for over 20 years. But having said that, um, I, do get I do get to control the method and manner of how things go in the courtroom. I understand that, Judge. I have no, this is your courtroom. And, but but I, I was asking a question to get some clarification, and I, I just feel like the court telling me to sit down or what I can do is take my seat was not appropriate. I treat the court always with deference, with respect. And the only thing that I ask is that the court treat me the same way. I'm required to do that, Mr. G Mr. Adams. We both are under the rules of professional responsibility. Yes, sir. Okay? Anything else, sir? That's all. Okay, all right. 